I recently did a YouTube video about some attic upgrades and it got a lot more views than I thought it would for something as boring as an attic. And I decided to make this video about the uh, objective data showing how useful these insulation covers are. And uh, I've been wondering about this since we bought them anyway. And so I thought it'd be a good excuse to make a video. So what I have here are three of these Bluetooth temperature sensors. These ones are made by a company called SwitchBot. I have had some for many years by a company called Govi, and I really liked them, but they weren't waterproof. These are waterproof, and I bought them. I really only needed two, but they came in a three pack, so I have three. So I have this one here. I colored that one black, and then I have a red one here, and then, I have a blue one right there. Okay, so you can see that they're right next to each other. It's about 30 degrees outside right now. And I think our thermostat is set to, uh, set to 59 while we sleep, but it's actually 66 because we had the fire on about an hour ago. So now I'm gonna switch to my phone and show you the data uh, live on the screen after I wait about five minutes for these to stabilize just because I handled them. All right, now we're in my phone. You can see it's about 33 degrees here in Ultawa. And I'm gonna go into this SwitchBot app. And you can see the three temps. Um, I labeled them. So black temp at the bottom left, that's at the bottom of uh, the steps. Red temp is right next to the insulation cover and blue temp is inside the attic. So you can immediately see basically a 22 degree Fahrenheit delta just from that little insulation cover. And what's really cool is you can actually go into these and you can um, get temp, relative humidity, and then all of these other things like dew point. And then you can just pinch and you can zoom in and out of these things. And you can look at data, you know, over like a month and things like that. It's really quite interesting. And I've used this when backpacking. I'll keep one inside the tent, one outside the tent, or one inside the hammock and one outside to take a look at the difference between um, humidity levels. It's, it's nerdy, but if you're a nerdy guy, then it's fun. And depending on where you put it, you get all kinds of interesting data. So one thing that this is really useful for uh, this is not a probably a backpacking video audience right now, but if you if you watch your temperature at like let's say 9 p.m. every night that you're backpacking, then even though you don't know what tonight's temperature will be if you don't have cell phone data for the prediction, you can see that it was like four degrees cooler tonight at nine o'clock than yesterday. So anyway, these temperature sensors nowadays are you know so cheap and so small, uh, they're just really handy for all sorts of nerdy things that you may want to do uh, in your home or in your car or with your kids, homeschooling, who knows. Anyway, uh, the long story short in this case is I said in that other video that it's subjectively very effective, this cover, but now we have some data. In this case, a 22 degree Fahrenheit difference and for the $40 I spent on it and the amount that it's impacted my electric bill in the summer with the AC and my gas bill in the winter with the furnace, it was clearly totally worth it for me. So hopefully that's helpful to you. If not, give this thing a thumbs down, let me know. Other than that, have a great day.